Currently we are in C10, which is um, part of the um, analytical labs and the practical labs that are available um, for the postgraduate taught program. And so this is one of the instruments that the, um, the students will be using, um, which is a, a bomb calorimeter. Now, pretty much with this, what they'll be doing um, with your sample placed in here and once it's actually set up, um, you'll be determining the enthalpic content of a fuel. So how much heat can you generate from it? Okay. So with this, usually it's sat actually in a, um, in a large bath of water. And predominantly, the either, you know, one of the ways that these actually work, they'll either be at a, a constant pressure and me measure a change in temperature, or they'll keep at a constant temperature and, and measure a change in pressure. From that um, data that you actually generate, you should be able to calculate for an amount that's actually weighed out in here what the energy production values are for, a, say, for example, a gram of uh, lignite. So, but what I wanted to show you with this is, um, through these labs, is that when it comes to research as to how these systems can be um, linked together. So for example, from the bomb calorimeter, we move over here to the thermogravimetric analysis. Now what this actually follows is, um, as you increase the temperature of your sample in here, you follow the mass loss. So from this, um, the, the mass loss of your sample that's placed in, coupled with the energy out, you can get a real solid handle on um, how good a fuel you've managed to generate. So this fits not just into the um, energy perspective, it also fits, say for example, within the biological and biochemical engineering program. Say for example, if you're using uh, microbes to produce biodiesel. So, one of the other things, uh, instruments that you can actually link this to, over here we actually have a biodiesel or a diesel analysis unit. So um, within this, this is um, pretty much um, uh, an infrared spectrophotometer that will actually generate data. And so from these um, three instruments, you can then actually get a handle on quality of fuel production. So within that, just as a, I've given you one example of uh, biodiesel, the other way, say for example, will, would be if you were to try and generate diesel from plastic waste. You can actually get a handle then of the fuel quality that comes out of that process. So that's actually one particular aspect that we, uh, that we can look at. Another aspect over here as we'll move to it is that um, Say if you're looking at the environmental aspect, we have two units over here. Now this is an iron chromatograph. So pretty much you'll see on the front here, this is where you would actually introduce a sample. This would be um, your eluent at the top. And so as you would flow your sample through in this, in here is an iron exchange column. And so dependent on how your material that you inject in the front interacts with this column as your um, your eluent flows through what you'll actually get then is a separate separation of those particular compounds and so this will give you an idea of the type of compound that's present and the amount so with this as well you can intimately couple this for example we have a UV vis spectrophotometer here um, I think this is a fluorimeter um, basically, you have um, a spectrophotometric handle on the concentration of these particular components. So, for example, if you were looking at water quality in the generation of, um, um, well, generation of particular anions, this is a, um, an anion-based IC system. Um, much like this one is um, a, a, a cation. So, you can get a handle on um, particular um, cation anion um, contaminants in a water supply. Also as well available to students as part of that research program, mind your back, um, is that um, over here as well we have some gas chromatograph systems here. 
So for example, if you have an organic content to your, um, your effluent, you can actually take a sample and you can run it through gas chromatography and be able to actually fingerprint the organic content within those systems as well. So initially as you start on the course you'll get to see a small number of, um, of, of analytical um, instruments much like the bomb calorimeter but what you can see is that as they are intimately connected to other pieces of equipment much like this um, you know, uh, diesel analysis unit, you can see the, um, the capability that you can actually generate. So you can actually um, manage to produce actually quite comprehensive analysis through this. And so what we've got here in this lab, what initially would appear as a student laboratory, so where you're doing some initial experiments, really actually then becomes a central analytical capability within which you'll be supported in your research work. So that's pretty much it. Um, this piece of kit that we keep walking past is an air sampler on the way, so um, in this system there'll be a solid phase extractant and, um, uh, and a pump. So basically as you draw air in, your, um, your um, sample will, will uh, pre-concentrate onto a, a particular solid phase extractant um, as it will be taken in. You'll then take this away into pretty much it looks like a, this piece of kit here which will have an absorbent inside. Um, you can then elute this and either run it through uh, GC analysis or um, iron chromatography and determine what's actually been absorbed. So you can actually um, um, directly ascertain this is uh, the environmental impact of, of um, even probably take that out onto Sheffield streets and look at the air pollution. So, but pretty much this is, um, you know, the dynamic behavior of stirred tanks. Um, what we want to initially take is what would be seen as um, uh, fairly basic research equipment you know, um, from the initial eye, but when it's actually um, integrated with other systems, with other analytical capability, it becomes really quite powerful. Um, old distillation rig, I think that's pretty much about it that's in here, but I'm going to take you over to some of the other experiments that are capable, uh, that we can do actually in other, uh, other areas of the department.